Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I wanted to make this video to discuss two exciting tweaks and modifications from inside Cydia. The first of which being Spring Tomize 3. Now, for those of you who don't know, Spring Tomize is a legendary iOS tweak that's renowned for bringing complete customization to the springboard of iPhones, iPads, and iPod touches. So Spring Tomize is a paid package that is available inside of Cydia. I highly recommend it for everyone. For those of you who are veteran jailbreakers, you will definitely be familiar with Spring Tomize, and it will be a welcome addition to your collection of tweaks regardless. So I'm going to bring over my iPhone 5S here, and we're going to discuss Spring Tomize 3 more in depth. So as you can see, my phone looks a little bit different aside from the icons. I'm actually going to create a separate video later discussing the current theme I have running and some other themes, so just be sure to stay tuned for that. But that's not really what we're going to be discussing in today's video. So my dock definitely looks different. That's because I have the cover flow effect enabled for Spring Tomize. I'm going to open the settings app and you'll even notice that the animations and transitions are faster on my iPhone 5S here. So once you install Spring Tomize, you will get a setting pane and you can just go inside of it again it's called Spring Tomize 3 you will also get an app icon however you don't have to use it most people will probably prefer to access Spring Tomize via the settings app once you open it you will have a few different options to say the least you have First of all, a toggle to enable or disable Spring Tomize. And then from there, you have a ton of different sections and categories. The first of which, and probably my most favorite, being animations. Again, this lets you customize how quick the animations actually are on your device. I like them to be sped up. You can either speed them up or slow them down, though, depending on your personal preference. From there, you can also customize the app slider. You can, again, hide the icons, resize the pages, and you can also set the slide action on the home screen to respring. Next and below that, you have settings for Control Center. Now there are some tweaks available inside of Cydia that do offer some of these settings. However, you can hide different portions of Control Center that you don't like and that you don't actually use on a regular basis. Next, you can customize the dock, and this is actually where I have the option set, again, to enable cover flow for the icons. However, it doesn't quite work with InfiniDock yet. The developer claims that he is working to bring improved compatibility for a number of various Cydia tweaks, but as you can see when I scroll over, the cover flow effect doesn't quite work, and that's because of the perspective. So it's set to use the perspective in the middle, and of course when I scroll over, it's still set to use the perspective in the middle of the first page of dock icons. Again, the perspective should just be reset on every dock page. Of course, though, there are more than just cover flow settings for the dock. As you can see, you have a slew of different options. I'm not going to detail everything, but once you get it, feel free to enable or disable the dock settings to your liking. Of course, you can also add different settings for folders. You have nestled folders, which allows you to create folders inside of folders. I'll demo that in just a second. You can enable pinch to close, transparent back, ground, etc. There are just a ton of different options, and this kind of goes without saying the entire tweak is like this. So I'm going to quickly demo the nestled folders. As you can see here, we have one folder, and inside of said folder, we have an additional folder. And to exit out to the original folder, all you have to do is just tap out of the second folder. Next, there are options for icons. I found this setting to be the least useful. I didn't actually enable anything really except hide newsstand. You can also hide Spring Tomize again, like I was saying before, if you prefer to access it via the settings pane for it. Again, you can customize the lock screen as well, including the slide to unlock text that can be changed and modified via this lock screen settings portion of Spring Tomize. As you can see, for the slider style, you can set a custom text string and you can enable it there. Also, whenever you change settings inside of Spring Tomize, you will get a small notification at the top saying that you need to respring to apply the changes. For the second to last option, we have pages, which you can do things like hide the page dots, disable spotlight, resize your icons, or even control how many different icons are in the columns or rows of your springboard. And then the final option is just the status bar. As you can see, I have the custom carrier text enabled, and you can also do things like hide items from the status bar. So as you can see here, again, 
Inside of the status bar for the carrier, it says ICUID instead of AT&T, which is just my default carrier. All right, now just bringing over my iPad mini to show you guys some other options. As you can see, I have it set to display three columns and six rows of icons. I also have six icons displayed inside of the dock. I have cover flow enabled for both the dock as well as the springboard itself. And I also have it set to change the sizes of the icons. However, I found this to be somewhat interesting with Springtimize, when you set the number of icons to be displayed on the springboard, it kind of conflicts with an iPad when you rotate it, depending on, again, how many icons you have set. As you can see, it doesn't exactly look quite right like this. So hopefully the developer will make the necessary updates to correct this. I also noticed that there were some other oddities in Springtimize 3, and again, I'm hoping this will be fixed in future revisions of the tweak. All right, and that's enough of Springtimize for now, though. I wanted to go over something else and I'm bringing my iPhone 5C over to show you guys another tweak inside of Cydia. Unfortunately, it doesn't work with 64-bit devices yet, being the iPhone 5S, the iPad Air, and the second-generation Retina iPad Mini. Now, when I open up Cydia, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's Animate Fix for the iOS 7 jailbreak. For those of you who don't know, Animate was made popular by the Chronic Dev team with the release of their Green Poison utility. It enables animated bootloaders. So, as you can see, I have both Animate installed and Animate Fix for iOS 7.x.x. You'll need to install both, and again, it doesn't currently work on 64-bit devices because the settings pane for Animate or the system preference references bundle for anime hasn't been updated to again include support for 64-bit devices. So just install Animate even though it says it's for an older firmware and then also install Animate Fix for iOS 7.x.x. Once you install both of these, open the settings app and scroll down until you get to boot logo. From there you can set your custom boot logo and you can install more via Cydia. Now I'm not going to go over everything but there actually is a setting inside of Cydia and I'll show you guys that right now really quick. So just opening up the Cydia app, I'm going to go over to sections and we're going to go back and back again. And as you can see, you can install add-ons from the boot logo portion of Cydia. Now, not all of these have been updated, so keep that in mind. Some of them will work though. Now going back inside of the boot logo portion of the settings app, I'm going to just show you guys what it looks like in the preview portion for a few of these. So as you can see, there was one, it's just very simple, an Apple logo spinning and then Evasion re-jailbreak. It just provides similar screens as to what Evasion does when it actually jailbreaks initially. Now, of course, my favorite is Mac Boot. Now, here's the quick demo of that, and I'm showcasing this one in honor of Mac's 30th birthday, which I detailed in yesterday's episode of Best Tech and Phone Rumors. Just be sure to check it out if you have yet to. Now, going back, I'm just going to give you guys a quick demo of this by rebooting my iPhone 5C here. I have the one that I want checked, and now I'm just going to slide to power off, and then once it powers off, you will be able to reboot. Again, right now, it does not work for 64-bit devices. Devices, so keep that in mind. Also, some of the ones that you actually get from Cydia will be incompatible, so you also need to keep that in mind. So I'm just going to wait for it to power off here, and then I'm going to power it back up, and you will notice the custom animated boot logo. So as you can see, there we go. Very nice, very clean, very simple. It first displays the Apple logo, then the custom boot logo, and then from there it will display the Apple logo again until it fully boots back up. So I'm just going to leave it on the display now just to show you guys that it actually does boot up. All right, so there you have it. And I hope you guys liked this video. Of course, if you didn't, you want a chance to enter to win a $100 Amazon gift card, just be sure to rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Once your comments have been posted, you'll be automatically entered to win. And of course, don't forget, if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos and cover jailbreak topics, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.